Hi, good afternoon. It is November 13th, 2014. And um, I'm sitting here in my apartment. I've been sorting through stuff, trying to downsize because I have a small apartment and a lot of stuff. And it seems to be an ongoing thing to do. Turn this on. Yeah, I need a little more light. It's a cloudy day. We've had snow flurries today, and it's been in the 30s for November. It's just unseasonably cold, because usually around this time we get 40s and 50s. It really doesn't start really, really getting cold till um, the last couple of weeks of November. I just celebrated my 51st birthday. It was very plain and uneventful. I didn't really go out and do any celebrating. Um, basically stayed in, watched some Doctor Who, and um, scanned the internet and watched some TV. Took my car out for a diagnostic. And basically that was it. I did get to talk to a couple people. Um, you know, brighten their day, which was good. Because um, my day was just kind of plain blah. I did get a lot of birthday witches, of which I'm, yeah, or birthday greetings, of which I am grateful for from friends over Facebook. And um, very grateful for that. And from my friend Iggy. Um, <laughs> Iggy always makes me laugh or makes me smile. Even at times when I don't feel like laughing or smiling. Dur during this time as I get older, I just late I miss my family and I miss my mother. Um, I miss spending time with them and I miss our celebrations that we had that we have and it's funny because for my birthday I really didn't hear from any family members at all no blood family um, which was kind of sad um, I shouldn't let it get to me but it does it's kind of hard when your blood family doesn't um, acknowledge anything not even a phone call or a text nothing on social media I did get some from my um, little sister which she is really my stepsister and I did hear from my sister-in-law which is my little brother um's wife but other than that um nothing else which is fine I mean I don't really expect anything from them anymore. Um, I shouldn't. The only thing that matters is, to me, is my faith in, in God and keep walking the path that was given to me to walk. Some of them have kind of given up on me because I am not the traditionalist. I'm not working a nine to five job. I am not out there making money. I did not settle for a husband that beat me. I did not settle for any BS from anybody. I walked out on a church that um, did not give me credit for anything that I tried to do or um, after being there almost 20 years. And then I did the same thing on another a major church before that time too that I was there for almost the same amount of time I am with Condor Eagle Ministries of which we are growing we have a core group of mm, four ministers and then there are about seven or eight of us seven or eight that aren't in the ministerial ring 
and there's more as we go drumming as we do our hikes as we do our our gatherings as we show ourselves to be our spirituality of who we are and we don't dictate anyone's personal spirituality and we emphasize having a personal relationship with um, with God with spirit however you see him I also still fellowship with the Krishna house and I was there last Thursday this Thursday or today um, I was gonna go to beyond which is a class given by my friend Melody Bentley Jenkins and that's at six o'clock part of me does not feel like going I don't feel like going or doing anything um, it's cold <laughs> It's cold and I don't want to go out. I don't I don't feel like putting on I got on a t shirt, long sleeves t shirt and a pair of sweatpants and I just feel like curling up in my bed and that's it. I have my days. I have my good days and I have my bad days. Um this right now being uh, birthday uh, week should be a celebratory week or a celebratory time but I'm just not feeling anything not feeling anything at all so I hate to say that but that's the way it is I hope this coming year is a good year. I hope to meet somebody. And it's kind of tough when you don't have a significant other, too. And I don't have a significant other. And. But that's life. Um, I haven't had a significant other in a. Not someone that was kind of long term since I left New York City and move back home which that was 2008 the end of 2008 pretty much a, a year ago I mean not not a year ago it was November 2008 so that was how many you know years ago backward maybe six six years ago six seven years ago six years ago I'm just I do get tired I I get tired of this life. I get tired of the bullshit. <laughs> but I keep going. Because that's all I can do. I know how to get up and keep getting up. And that's the way we should be. We should be up or getting up. So, that's my take for today. I am a for real person. I do have my moments. Um, I do walk by faith, and I do try to treat others as I would like to be treated. Today is no great talk of faith or great talk of this or that or any preaching. It's just me at home being me, and that's the way it is. <laughs> um... So I leave you with be good to yourself and be good to others. And no matter if anybody else celebrates you, celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. I have some wine in my refrigerator. I also have some schnapps. I might make me a um, cinnamon apple cider. With a little cinnamon schnapps and some apple cider that I have. Or some spiced wine. And celebrate, give myself a toast. I'm not one to get drunk or um, go out and smoke up a bunch of weeds or take any drugs or nothing like that. But 
I'm going to celebrate me. So, namaste and shalom.